And one of the big topics facing Chuck Hagel, if he is confirmed as defense secretary, is how to wind down the war in Afghanistan. That's also the key issue today between President Obama and Hamid Karzai in their meetings. Despite his request for a large American residual force after 2014, Karzai recently told NBC's Atia Abawi that Afghan troops are ready to take over. On the question of the uh, readiness, uh, uh, the preparedness of the, of the Afghan security forces, um, they are quite ready, I can say with, with, with confidence, to um, handle the um, uh, security of the country, the threats to this country, uh, on their own, uh, and to uh, uh, receive the full transition of authority to them. Uh, in 2014, rather in 2013, and to have the, the, the uh, uh, departure of the um, uh, foreign forces from Afghanistan completed in 2014. Joining me now is Brent Skokoff, former National Security Advisor to Presidents Gerald Ford and George H.W. Bush, and a strong advocate for Chuck Hagel for the Pentagon job. General, welcome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Nice to be with you. Uh, tell me why you think Chuck Hagel is the right person for this job, despite all the controversy that has been raised about what he said about Israel in the past and Iran in the past, criticisms of uh, some of his other statements, certainly the statements th about gay Americans. I think for two, maybe three reasons. First of all, He's a very solid, sound thinker. He's been involved in these matters for decades. And he comes at decisions by analysis, not by a knee-jerk support for this philosophy or that. But what is best for the United States? That's a wonderful attitude. And I think he and John Kerry have similar points of view, and they'll be a good team. But secondly... He, is, he would be the first Secretary of Defense to have served as an enlisted man in the trenches. That is a perspective. From that, following on to the USO, to Veterans Administration, he understands the political and human problems of the force in a way that no other Secretary has. Now, do you think that he has the experience and the skill to get his arms around that Pentagon bureaucracy and all the pork that's embedded in it at a time when facing the sequester? We've had warnings from General Dempsey and, and uh, of course, from Leon Panetta that we are facing the potential hollowing out of the force and a real national security dilemma. I think, you know, to me, he's an example of one of the best teams we ever had in defense, which was Laird and Packard. And to me... You mean David Packard and Melvin David Laird? David Packard and, and Melvin Laird, yes. And he knows the policy. Chuck Hagel knows the policy. His deputy right now, Ash Carter, is superb in running the building. And that's, that's an unbeatable team. He doesn't have to know everything. And he knows a part of the Defense Department no other secretary has, which is how the enlisted men live and think. How important is it for a president, for a commander-in-chief, to have someone he really trusts in that job and in the other national security jobs? Because we have President Obama now moving from what has been called a team of rivals uh, to a team of friends and of colleagues. He clearly has a great affection for John Brennan and certainly for Chuck Hagel, and perhaps not as close with John Kerry. The, the president's problem in dealing with any issue is making decisions on the basis of imperfect information. You never know as much as you'd like to know about a situation. So he, he appreciates different perspectives and different evaluations that give him the confidence that all of the angles have been discussed to the point that they can and that he goes into making a decision based on the best possible information and analysis. And I think that's what Chuck Hale will, will give him. General Scowcroft, I want to ask you about your close friend, co-author, the man you served, George Herbert Walker Bush. Yes. How is President Bush 41 doing? I think he's doing much better now. Uh, he, he had... That's so uh, good to hear. He, he had some respiratory problems that they were very afraid would go into a serious form of pneumonia 
and uh, I'm not an expert on the military, on the, uh, the medical diagnosis, but he's doing fine now. I talked to him a few days ago, and uh, he's his old self. And how are his spirits? His spirits are fine. Well, please convey our very best wishes. The whole uh, country is pulling for him to get out of that hospital and to be back in, in good form again. I would be delighted, and I will do it today. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank it's you. It's great to see you, General nice. Spokoff.